White flag led off over two miles in the timeless sash windows handicap hurdle nine flights to jump and it is doing to win as per usual on the sharp end from attaboy charlie on the inside palace rock and close up is andy to frame the pale pink cap and then the top weight magic tricks the blue hat sir Alan is next with be alice stock fortune to fortune nada magical zoe is next with so scottish in between horses they're followed by as the first time lord erskine and then conjure sail the model kingdom and one last tango next they're followed by zenta red cap of brazil and then call me lyrene by your side near to the bag with morning soldier on cover another one of the back markers in the start cap Cheap pieces is common practice as it's doing a win by an increasing four to five lengths, jumping the second flight, followed by Palace Rock with Andy Dufresne, handy third on the outside, then Attaboy Charlie choked up a win here last time, as did one last tango. It was about two thirds of the way back, and then Sir Allen as doing the win is away from the third. Leading Palace Rock, a blunder one last tango at that, as doing the win. Swings and left to head into the back straight to the first of four. Leads by five to Palace Rock and Andy Dufresne. Another gap in the field to Attaboy Charlie and then Sir Allen and Magic Tricks next with Sir Scottish and Bialystok. Lord Erskine and Magical Zoe next with Conyers Hill and the Model Kingdom. These are being followed by Brazil on the outside of Zenta. And Fortune to Fortune now to next on the inside. Less than 10 furlongs to go as they approach the first of four in the bag. And it's doing to win by four to Palace Rock, who's closed upon for the second by Andy Dufresne. Six, seven legs back to Sir Allen, who's shading the fourth. From Metaboy Charlie and then so Scottish. Magic Tricks next with Lord Erskine. Biala Stoke, Magical Zoe come next with the Model Kingdom and then Conyers Hill and Brazil. Zenton next with one last tango and by her side and call me Ladin and Fortune to Fortunata. Morning Soldier is next, being followed by Common Practice and they've dropped at the tail end of the field on top of They've passed the halfway stage as Doyen to win is away from the next flight in the back straight with just over seven furlongs to run and four flights left to jump as Doyen to win. Yet to see a rival throughout, followed by Palace Rock, joined for a second by Andy Dufresne. And then comes Sir Allen, who's just up in a fort from Attaboy Charlie. So Scottish tracks, then Magical Zoe on the inside, Bialystok, then Magic Tricks in the Model Kingdom. Heading to the third last flight, the far end of the back straight. Doing the win up and over from Andy Dufresne, landing in a disputing second place with Palace Rock followed with five to run after a little break in the field sir Allen and attaboy charlie so scottish is edging closer on the outside the yellow cap and then the model kingdom who's picked off rivals and then magical zoe as they turn out of the back straight they've two flights left struggling both fortune the fortunata and on top coming towards the second last doing to win has come back to andy Dufresne, then palace rock and sir Allen next continuing to close is so scottish then attaboy charlie the model kingdom magical zoe bialystok on the inside of Magic tricks, then one last tango, and Lord Erskine is next with Zenta in Conyers Hill. Down there, that boy Charlie brings down Palace Rock as they race for the approach to the straight. Another one to go as they swing in was Morning Soldier as they run into the straight towards the final flight. And it is so Scottish who's coming there. One from the rail to take the long time leader doing to win. Magical Zoe here sent the quartered cap on the outside. Followed by the model kingdom, Sir Allen. Lord Erskine next with one last tango and then by her side coming to the final flight. And it is center produced to lead at the last but only just challenging his Magical Zoe. They're over as one. Then Lord Erskine and so Scottish next with a gap to the model kingdom and Magical Zoe through on the inside to just take it up from Lord Erskine on the outside who's finishing best of all is the Admiral Vatten and Lord Erskine pulls away to win it judge for the second and third magical Zoe and Zenta and then the Scottish with a gap to the model kingdom big win for Harry Rogers and that okay well, that'll be a massive win for Henry Rogers. Uh, congratulations to the team. Lord Erskine wins with Darrow Keefe on board. Close thing for second. Zenta, Magical Zoe in there. So Scottish, the well-backed favourite, finishing back in fourth. And once again,